Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am remodeling my bathroom countertop again. Yes, I said again because the first time I used an appliance epoxy spray and honestly, it hasn't been holding up well in my home. I'm not sure I've seen other people have success with it, but personally, I've been having some chipping and the other countertop is showing through. So I didn't like that because the counter countertop is kind of a tannish color and you can see that really easily. So it's chipping around my sink and around my edges. And honestly, I'm going to say that it really holds on to stains. So I set a bag on my countertop one day and it's been holding on to that stain. I'll show you all in a minute what that looks like and how it's looking, but it's not looking good. No. So here is what the countertops are looking like. So from a distance, it's like, oh, that's not too bad. It looks good, but you can see like even the chips inside the sink. And then once you get up close, it's just holding on to like stains or if you sit something on here too long, it doesn't look good. So this is where the bag was and just holding on to those stains. So the other side has like some chipping. This has chipping too. And just, it just didn't do too well. Like the durability that I personally need. So I do have my sandpaper. I'm going to go ahead and start sanding it down. I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to hand sand it. I don't want to bring my sander in and create a lot of dust or anything it's just a lot of work to use that thing and then i have these 120 just in case um i need something rougher if it's not working but let's go ahead and start sanding did you ever stop and think why well, spend too much time just getting ready I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a okay, so stuff thing is done. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. I'm using the Kiehl's Premium Primer to prep my surface. Um, this one was for bonding and it actually really helps my paint to adhere to the countertops because I didn't want any chipping or any issues down further down the line. Um, so I needed to cover up my surface with this. Now I did use a sample paint from Lowe's. Um, you can use any white paint that you choose. And for my veins, I use another sample paint that I picked up from Lowe's. Um, I was going to get a paint made, but they said they didn't have the base that I needed, so that worked fine with me. To create the veins, you use a smaller paintbrush with um, whatever choice of paint that you want because you want to create a smaller lines. And then also you'll need a spray bottle with water in it and then also a uh, bigger paintbrush or foam brush. This will help with fading out the lines. The key here is to fade out the lines. My heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking.
Okay, so it is day two and this is what it looks like. Now, I'm going to be honest with you all. I don't really like how it's looking. Um, I think maybe the lines are too big for my liking. So, I think I'm going to do it over. I know y'all probably like, what? Really? Oh my gosh. But, um, just look at it from like this way. I'm, I'm not really feeling it. So, I want to do it over. I may do less lines to start off and then just kind of work from there. I think I want it like a little bit of marble not this i don't know what this it looks like i don't know but let's go ahead and do it over just to try it so i'm just going over again with my primer to cover up those gray lines so you can either prime it again or scrape it off with a paint stripper and just remove those so right here i am priming it but i ended up just going ahead and scraping it off because um the primer was just taking too long. So let's talk about what I did differently this time. First off, I used a completely different paint. I went up and picked up some acrylic paint from Walmart and um, I felt like this worked better because with the water, uh, it just didn't dry as fast. But I felt with the Valspar paint sample, it was drying really quickly even when I had water on it. So this helped me to really fade out those lines. Another thing I did was use a even smaller paintbrush than I did the first time. And lastly, I'm using a bigger paintbrush to spread out and fade those lines instead of a foam brush. So this is definitely what I was looking for. Really simple, not too dramatic. It's like simplicity. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side and um, show you all what it looks like when it's dry.
I did end up using a top coat of epoxy, but somehow that footage is gone. But here is how it turns out. I really love it. I think it looks like real marble. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you're not following, please consider do following my channel. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.